Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Martin. I'm filming this in my storage unit tonight. It's Wednesday night as I'm filming this and I thought I would do a, um, not an unboxing, but um, a mail call video. Uh, so I did a, um, a whole bunch of videos on Sunday, which are a few of them I'm yet to post, um, but I received something yesterday that I, I really, I, I couldn't wait to show off. So I'm filming this tonight and I'm going to show it first thing in the morning. But I also received some other stuff. So usually what I do on this channel is I show off four books. Uh, four books from random and I end on a key issue. These are three issues. <clears throat> and they're all pretty big. But the last one is like one of, uh, I wouldn't say a major grail. But uh, it's it's up there. It's very, very much up there. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what should I... Because I don't just want to show them off. I want to kind of fill out this video a little bit. Um, no, you know what? Stuff it. Let's just get right into it. <laughs> okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is Daredevil, issue 160, with uh, Bullseye on the cover, uh, and um, he is uh, taking on um, Black Widow. Jeez, I'm, I'm struggling a bit today. Uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a long day. I was, I was in the city today, uh, and I was up early for work, and it's <clears throat> it's a hot night, hot day. Uh, so yeah, the energy is a little bit depleted. So if I'm uh, a little bit deflated, uh, I apologize, but, uh, yeah, anyhow, uh, I'm rambling. It's Daredevil issue 160. And the next one I have for you is another Daredevil is issue 188 with this beautiful Frank Miller cover. Uh, now, um, I bought these two issues, uh, because I'm trying to fill in my Daredevil run and to be honest, I thought I had um, I thought I had everything from when Mark Miller started onwards. Uh, but then there's a few issues such as these two um, that I didn't own until now. Uh, so I'm very happy to have them in my collection. But uh, that being said, I am going to have to go through the list and uh, make a make a, a note of the ones that I don't have and I need to pick up because it's also important to have the entire run, <laughs> um, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> one day, one day, I will, um, I will have the entire run of Volume One. Uh, it might not be a twenty twenty four goal, uh, but it is something which I hope to achieve one day. So you know, fingers crossed. Uh, now, the big issue that I have, um, and yeah, actually, you know what? I will fill this out a little bit. I bought this on eBay from a seller who I've bought from before, and. Uh, he is um, selling off his dad's collection of comic books, and we've bought, uh, we, we've gone back and forth a little bit on previous uh, auctions, uh, no, no, not auctions rather, but uh, buy, buy it now. And uh, he had a, he had a copy of Green Lantern issue one in a coverless, um, but he, the listing was for Green Lantern issue two. And he had it marked at, initially it was $800 Australian, then he had it uh, listed for $600, uh, and then over Christmas, uh, I, got, I brought it all the way down to five, $515, but it was coverless. Uh, he had a reproduction cover, um, and I was in the midst of saving up for it, because, you know, with uh, Christmas uh, being at such an expensive time of the year, uh, I, I had to kind of save up for it, um, and inching closer and closer towards that 515 mark and someone bought it um so i'm i'm, I'm happy that uh the seller was able to sell the book because um uh, you know coverless copies are kind of hard to sell um but uh it's not all bad news uh i would have loved to have the green lantern if you want to be honest but uh, it's not all bad news because he um brought down the price on this issue and I went, let's go. Here it is here. <laughs> Amazing Adult Fantasy, Issue 9, uh, from uh, the early 60s, 19, this would be 1962, I think? 61, 62? Uh, put, 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 let me know uh, what year this would be, because uh, I don't exactly know. Uh, but um, it is a bit of an iconic cover uh, for the series. Um, okay, it's not... <laughs> 
it's not the last issue, uh, which would have been nice, especially for the price I paid. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I saw this and I knew it's Stan Lee, it's Steve Ditko, it's Monsters, uh, and for the price he had it, I, I I'd be so, kind of silly to say no. And so I snapped it up. The only thing is, um, look, well, look, look, the the condition isn't like immaculate. Like I've taken it out, it's brittle. Um, I've looked through it. Uh, it's got some staples on here. Like I can feel them here. It's been stapled all along. Uh, but you know what? I don't even know if I'll read this. Uh, it it's not so bad that uh, the brittleness will prevent me from reading it. It is readable, uh, but I would be very uh, hesitant and very cautious in reading it um, and I will also say like this part here has been cut out uh, which is a bit unfortunate um, but I'm very happy to have this in my collection uh, so on the cover it says uh, ever since the dawn of time nothing can match the terror of Tim Booba Tim Booba <laughs> um, and I told my son that uh, he is the older brother of Fatty Boomba. Ah, <laughs> oh, dad jokes. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, I'm very happy to have this in my collection. This is the first issue of Amazing Adult Fantasy that I've ever bought. Um, so, yeah, when I saw it, um, I snapped it up. I just, yeah, looking at it, yeah, I loved it. Now, I will also say uh, that it took a long while to arrive to me. And admittedly, it was over the Christmas break. So uh, that is to, something to be uh, taken into consideration. But um, yeah, every time I buy it from this, this guy, uh, the postage takes a while. I'm, I'm not sure why. But uh, it certainly will not prevent me from buying from, uh, from this seller. Uh, so he's got some really nice books. And I'm hoping in this year to make a few more purchases uh, because I want them for my collection, I want to read them, I want to enjoy them, but also I want to show you guys the fun stuff I've got coming up. Now, I was talking to uh, to Troy at my local comic book shop today about some uh, big books that I've got uh, earmarked for uh, purchases uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, and uh, Troy got very excited. Uh, I'm very excited. I cannot wait to get these books in, uh, just to have them in my collection. Again, it, they're, they're these books that you just you never you never think that they will be in your collection, and when you do get them, uh, it, it, it warms your heart. <laughs> All right, I've got one more video to film tonight. Um, on, the next video is going to be my modern comics suck video because I went to my local and I bought a lot and <laughs> a lot of uh, modern comics. I'm going to go through them and I'm going to mention what I think of them. Uh, and I hope to see you then at the next one. Thanks for sticking with me for this one, and I will catch you then. Bye, guys.